Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the top 5 best fabric FPS performance boosting mods for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest version of Minecraft. This is Minecraft Java Edition version 1.19.2 and these mods should also work on the previous versions which are 1.19.1 and 1.19 as well. So you should be able to get these mods on those versions as well as the latest version 1.19.2. If you guys are running a low end system and you are finding that your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2 is giving you lag and giving you stuttering and low FPS, then hopefully these performance FPS boost mods should give you some nice performance inside your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the top five best FPS performance boosting mods for your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2. And as I mentioned earlier, you should be able to get this on versions 1.19.1 and previous versions like 1.19. All right, so the first fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys get is called Sodium. Now, most of you have probably heard about this, but for those of you who haven't, as you guys can see from the description, it says Sodium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft, which improves frame rates and reduces lag spikes. Now on my system, which is not actually that low end, but it does actually manage to give me three times the FPS than what I would be getting in my vanilla game. So if you guys are seeing low FPS below 60, then definitely do try out Sodium. It is gonna give you a nice FPS boost in your Minecraft Java game. Another Another cool thing with Sodium is that it does actually change the video settings. So as you guys can see, I am using a different layout here and this is what the Sodium video settings look like. You have a general section with your basic options here like render distance, max shadow distance and the GUI scale as well. And we also have a quality section and you can also go ahead and fine tune some settings in this section. You also have a performance section here, which I have actually gone ahead and left as the default because I do find that the default settings for that work quite well. And the same thing for the advanced section as well. I do find that the default settings for the advanced section work quite well as well. So do go ahead and give Sodium a go. If you guys are on a low end machine, then hopefully this should give you some nice FPS performance gains inside your Minecraft game on version 1.19.2. The next fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys check out is made by the same people who made the Sodium mod and this mod is actually called Lithium. As you guys can see it says, Lithium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which makes a wide range of performance improvements to the game. Now this actually works both client side and server side. It is probably more useful for servers but it does actually work on the client side as well. So if you guys are using Sodium then definitely get Lithium. This mod is going to complement the sodium mod as well and give you some nice performance gains. The next fabric FPS performance boosting mod I would recommend you guys check out on 1.19.2 is Cull Leaves. Now as you guys can see from the description it says adds culling to leaf blocks providing a huge performance boost over vanilla. Now I have actually gone ahead and tested this in the performance section and it has given me some nice performance gains compared to the vanilla game. So do go ahead and get the Cull Leaves mod and it is going to give you some nice FPS performance in your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2. The next fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys get is called No Weather Effects. Now this is a really cool mod because it does actually disable all of the weather effects that you would see inside your Minecraft game. Some of you might have noticed that when it does actually rain or even have thundering or snowing then your performance will take a huge dip in the FPS section and by disabling all of the weather effects then you should be able to maintain the same FPS that you were getting when you weren't seeing those weather effects. So do you go ahead and get the no weather effects mod if we go to the options here click on video settings go to the quality section you can see that there is an option for weather in the sodium options but it only allows you to cycle between fast default and fancy but with the weather effects turned to off we should be able to not see anything on our system. So let's actually go inside the game here. So let's actually go ahead and toggle some rain inside our game. And as you guys can see, it says set the weather to rain. And I can't actually see any rain at the moment. It looks like it's completely clear. However, it is raining, but we can't actually see any rain effects. So as you guys can see, my FPS is doing quite well and it's not dipping. However, it is raining in the background. So you guys don't have to worry about any of the weather effects. 
The next fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys check out for 1.19.2 is called Smoke Suppression. As you guys can see it says client mod to suppress campfire smoke when certain blocks are below the campfire. As you guys can see from the config options here, there is an option here to always suppress smoke inside your Minecraft game. Now smoke can actually lower your FPS when the system is rendering the smoke. So with this mod, you should be able to disable that. So do go ahead and check out the smoke suppression mod for your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2. Another mod to check out which is not currently available but it will be available fairly soon is called Starlight. So if you guys are using sodium and lithium but also be on the lookout for the Starlight mod to be made available for version 1.19.2. The same thing also applies to Ferrite Core so when that comes out for version 1.19.2 also get that mod and those two mods should also give you a nice performance boost inside your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2. I will leave a link in the description which will have links to all of the mods which I have shown you guys today so you guys can actually go to that link and view all of these mods and download them for your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19.2 if you guys don't want to download individual mods and you would rather get a mod pack which included all of these performance mods and additional performance mods for version 1.19.2 then do go ahead and check out my boosted FPS mod pack and I will leave a link in the description on where you can get that and that is going to contain all of the performance mods which I have talked about today alongside some of the other performance FPS boosting mods on Fabric for version 1.19.2 so definitely do check out the boosted FPS mod pack it's heavily configured and should give you some nice FPS performance gain in your Minecraft Java game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or queries about how to download and how to install Fabric FPS performance mods on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.19.2, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.